Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. Welcome to Game & Watch. This is the show where we game and you watch. Oh, yeah. Today we have Will Campbell. Hey, kids. Um, well, this is the Friday the 13th game, uh, yes, for the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System. I don't know anything about this game, I just knew there was a Friday the 13th game for the NES. Um, and I never played it, you know, big Friday the 13th fan. But this is the only Friday the 13th game, so... I gotcha. I'm not sure the story here, it's, it says Crystal Lake, of course, that's true, the films, that's the first, um, film and, and the films remaining, um, but we've got George, Mark, Paul, Laura, Debbie, Chrissy, these are all the characters, I think you're playing as the kids, you choose your kid here, and I think you're running away from Jason, I'm not positive, but, we'll see. So use the torch to light the fireplace, okay. So that's like a super up? So you're throwing... What are you throwing there? I'm not sure, rocks maybe? It's like a maybe? Throwing stars? This is... I picked George, but it kind of looks like a, uh... Yeah, it looks like, like a girl. girl. You know, I picked George. It looks like Velma, Scooby-Doo. So Velma in the woods, I don't really... I don't know what's going on. It, there's no Jason. These are... There's no, um, other monsters other than Jason. Uh, yeah, well, uh, it, I was thinking Bigfoot, but... Oh, okay, that's okay. One thing's for sure that this is not Friday the 13th. No. But, you know, that's kind of what the NES era kind of was. You would get, like, these weird licensed games, and they would have nothing to do with the, uh, actual, like, license that they were. You know what I mean? How popular was this game in its day, Paige? Do you know? I don't think it was very popular. I just heard of it. I don't know that it was a big game at all. But I, I think you're running away from Jason in this game, but I haven't even seen Jason. Uh, Looks like we're just recreating player witch product. Kids like, running in the woods. And now I'm in the woods, now I can't get out of the woods. So, I don't know what to tell you. This, uh, this would be the opportune time for Jason to come in and just start reading. Okay, now we're in a building. In the woods. In the woods. You can't get in without a key. Okay. So I go back, I guess. Alright. No problem with that. He's, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little unclear about what's happening. Um, well, have you seen any of the Friday the 13th movies? I have not. They're just to be a machete. I just got something, a machete or... Oh, now I can throw a machete. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> But Jason, I've seen Jason throw machetes, but I've not seen, uh... George throw machetes. Uh, yeah, I've not seen George throw machetes. Is George the one played by Kevin Bacon in the first film? I haven't seen him, I don't know. Um, well, the reason I, I brought that up is... Have you, you haven't seen him. But being that this is a Friday the 13th, uh, Let's Play... Mm -hmm. Um... I was gonna go ahead and say... What are some of your favorite kills from movies? Uh, some of the um, kills. But yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, that's all the movies are very iconic for their kills. Well, in that case, let me ask you the question. I just got a question. What are, what are your favorite kills in Friday the 13th? Oh, man, there's so many good ones. Um, uh, in Friday the 13th Part 3, I like the one where that, um, the guy is walking, walking on his hands. He's, um, what's that called? Like, he's doing a handstand, but he's walking on his hands. You know? Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, so he's doing that, and Jason comes and ha he has an axe and he cuts him through the, uh, legs. Oh, wow! Like, while he's, while he's walking. Like oh, we got a key. Oh, oh we can go into that cell thing. <laughs> um, if we can find it, that's the thing. And there seems to be time, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I'm guessing that's what we see, Jason. Oh, that could be. That's a good point. I don't know what these other things are, though. There's no other, I don't know. <laughs> this game is not- oh, well, now it's just back at 10. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find that place where, uh, the key was. But, um, yeah, that's a good one. And then, in Jason X, um, the, uh, he puts the, the person's head- That's Jason! Oh, there you go. I have one ball of life left to fight Jason. <laughs> oh! 
I don't think that <laughs> Jason just ran away. I don't think that would happen. Oh, uh, these are my lives up here, maybe. Uh, that's what it looks like. Alright, I'm pointing, you can't see, but <laughs> these are my lives up here. Uh, oh, children, where you see the sad faces and the awful hair. Yeah. Kind of looks like Michael Myers, <laughs> even though that's a different movie. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 Michael Myers is Halloween. You, you can catch it for the next Friday the 13th. Michael Myers is Halloween. Yeah, they should uh, do like a, like a HD, HD, an HD remake. Oh, George just did the An HD remake. Oh, am I going to do two kids? Alright, we're going to use uh, Chrissy here. Alright. Or maybe Jason got one of the other kids, because I think like you're trying to get rid of all the other kids. Like, you're trying to get rid of Jason before he kills all your friends. Oh, okay. And in the movies, you know, only one survives in the movies, if you've seen them. Yeah, there's, it starts with a group of like 17 kids or something. Not 17, but like 12 maybe. And yeah, what about 13? There's Jason. What about 13? Yeah, 13. Maybe 13. I, I, I don't know exactly. I don't know if he just away. Yeah, I don't know what Jason's up to. I think you're trying to kill, uh, get rid of him. You can't really kill Jason, just incapacitate him. Hey. Hey. Uh, can I talk to you? Looks like a King Counselor short shorts. I don't know who that is. Looks like we're stuck in a house again. I don't know. <laughs> we ran into this problem earlier. Really. We had to restart. Oh, yeah. Uh, there we go. There. Yeah, I don't really know how to get out of the houses, and I don't really know what to do in the houses. So, yeah, that's the only horror in the Friday the 13th game. This game is very uh, unclear. No, but as I was saying, in Jason X, um, that's the futuristic one. He uh, hits someone's head against the. Uh, he, he puts their head in the. Uh, that's right, he sticks it in. I don't know. Whoa, now I'm, now I'm in the boat! <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good one. Uh, in... What, what, what is it? Oh, what's it called? I know what you're talking about, but I can't... Yeah, he, and there's stuff that freezes it, and then he hits it against the, the uh, table, and it shatters. Is it liquid nitrogen? Yeah, something like that. Um, so yeah, he hits the head, and, and it shatters, which is a cool one. I like, um, I forget which one it's in, but in... One of them, uh, these two people are camping and they're in sleeping bags, and he uh, takes their sleep. That was just swimming. He uh, he takes their. This is a terrible game. I don't think it was. I don't. I, I think it's remembered as like one of the worst games. I wonder why. But it's really bad. You clearly see But they're in sleeping bags, and he gets it. He grabs them in their sleeping bags, and. Uh, and uh, hits them against trees. <laughs> he like sets their sleeping bags up and hits them against trees. Yeah, uh, um, so what do we do with horror guy? Love, love horror. Um, slasher specifically, slashers. Alright, uh, you know, give us... I, give us stuff's alright, but I, I like slashers, but really, you know, it's just, you know, t teenagers needlessly getting killed. So are you, uh, would you say you're a fan of gore? Uh, I'm a machete now. Would you say you're a fan of gore over suspense? Well, oh, yeah, definitely. I love gore, yeah. It's for me, I like especially, the like, the modern remakes, some of them are okay, but I like the, like, 80s horror, you know what I mean, where it's, like, really cheesy. And it's, like, yeah. like, like, they'll, like, Jason will stab someone, and as soon as the sword starts, starts going through him, it's obviously, like, a model. <laughs> and, like, it just cuts, and, like, it'll cut him in half. It's fun. It's, it's more fun than anything. Didn't they make a Saw game recently? Uh, I think they made one four or five years ago. Yeah, I don't think it was. I never played it. I don't think it was particularly good. I don't think it was good, good at all. Now, in that one, were you playing? In the Saw game, were you playing as Jigsaw or were you playing as the people trapped in his? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm sure. I heard rumors that you played as Jigsaw and you got people to go into your traps. That's what I heard too, which sounds cool, but it, I don't think the game was good. So I don't know. Like a uh, version of what was the game that came out recently? Was it was it E3? Um, um you play as either the uh, monster. Oh uh, Evolve. It's not like that, but Evolve looks awesome, yeah. Um For those of you who haven't figured out already, I'm the resident noob. Yeah, Evolve looks sweet. It's like Evolve is a uh, multiplayer game. It's, it's made by the people that made Left 4 Dead, so they know what they're doing when it comes to horror. Oh, uh, the faces up there are the children left, because Jason's running around killing people. Oh. <laughs> That's what that is. Six. Uh, Laura? Uh, we'll, we'll be Laura. I really don't know what I'm doing at all. I, Jason appears occasionally. Um, <laughs> I guess we're, we're campers. Um, 
But yeah, Robin Sweet is made with Hoogle and it made for Le Left 4 Dead, so they know what they're doing horror-wise. You know? And it's four player, um, it's five player. Um, four people play as, like, monster hunters, and one person plays as the monster. Oh, okay! Alright. Well, I see that, uh, by, by your lives, it looks like there's a flash. I don't know what that's like. I don't know what that means. This, this game is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this game. Um, we got machetes, right? Hey, oh, that's upgrade. We're getting machetes. The is it bad? I don't remember a cave in the Friday the 13th movies. <laughs> I clearly didn't do the research for this game. I'm trying to think of other really, really cool Jason kills. Um, obviously a lot of the Jason kills involve sex. Um, <laughs> you know, because basically, in a slasher film, if you have sex, you're gonna get killed. So, if there's ever a psychopath running around, ramming people through the chest with machetes, do not accept. <laughs> I think there was a horror film where somebody made that point. I can't remember which one it is. I don't know. But they find, well, in the film, they find a VHS tape. Mm -hmm. Like, a guy who works in a video store, and the killers or whatever the problem is are coming. And he's recorded it. He's recorded everything he knows about the structure of horror films, and is giving them advice to get through it. It's a nice little, nice gotcha. little meta movie there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, those rats are... I'm not going back in that cave, those rats are going to be the death of me. It's like a princess bride, not the... Yeah, alright, we got Mark left. <laughs> so we're going to get Mark. Here's, I guess we have three before. Yeah, I guess, well, I, that's the thing, I think, you know, it starts with the six, and, um, Jason's running around, and those, your, your friends are running around, um, while you're running around, and so he can kill them off-screen, and, oh, yes. and you don't see it. That's what I'm saying. It'd be cool if, um, they let you see your, like, in the Friday the 13th movie, Jason will kill someone, and then they'll, they'll, like, find them and realize something's going wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd be cool if, like, you could find, like, your, the eight big corpse of your friend. You know, you know what I'm yeah, saying? That would give it a new direction. Or if you go into the, uh, cabins and find people Yeah, that's, that's one thing. Yeah, that'd be funny. Like, eight bit. Jason It's already pixelated, I guess. It's, it's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, they do that in South Park Secret Truth, if you'll remember. Oh, yeah, that was, the South Park Secret Truth was a crazy game. No, but it's already pixelated, oh, if you right. find someone. But, um, no, that's one thing that's never been done that I would like to see. Uh, like, there's obviously a lot of horror games as in, like, survival horror, where, like, you're running away from something. But I'd like to see a game where, like, you're the, you're the like, psychopath and you're running around killing people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if they could do a licensed Friday the 13th game and you play as Jason, I don't have a key. <laughs> you know what I mean? They have like a licensed Friday of the 13th game, and you play as Jason. I can see And you that. could just, oh man, that would be awesome. But, I can see that. And you get like rewarded, like the more like creative your kills are and stuff. I think at that point, though, it would take some of the suspense out of the game of horror game. Yeah, it wouldn't really be horror. I think you see That's true. I think we're done here, because... the perspective of the victim. You and your friends are dead. <laughs> game over. No dip. Oh man. Um... That's a horrible game. Will, you want to try it out? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll pass the controller off to you. Let's give it a shot. Let's, uh, let's see what's so it's, you know, A, B, start, select, and then move. Either of these can move. All right, the reason he's explaining is because we're using a non-traditional controller. Right. Off break. We're doing an emulator. Sorry. You can tell we're doing an emulator. Like, it's seriously, the top we, one. seriously, we buy this. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. I've seen it for, like, five bucks at, like, G2K. It's not even but I don't, yeah, it's really bad. Yeah, let's see. It's a really bad game. Let's, uh... I've heard that, like, it wasn't particularly good when I, when I heard about this game. Well, now you've seen it, too. Now I've seen it. Um, it's not very good. It's too crispy. Alright. So you can use the torch to light the fireplace. I never found the torch, so... I guess I was finding lighters, but lighters aren't torches. Maybe this is a British game. <laughs> so it's like, use the torch. Are uh, you in the boat? Can I, can I get in the boat? <laughs> that does happen. Um, that's Jason. Jason's about to see Jason. Oh, no, that's not Jason. Oh, wasn't it? Jason does from my little screen. Is that taking the dip? Alright. Alright, we got some, uh, <laughs> some, some boys here. Yeah, some boys. Um, it's hard to get out. Uh, press forward and, like, A or something. I'm, or just press forward. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to get out. I, it took me a while to figure out. But this game, this is not a game. Um, it doesn't hold true to the Friday the 13th canon. 
And I'm totally fine with some artistic license. You know, I've seen the remakes, but this isn't even part of the prestige. <laughs> Other than Jason appears a few times and throws axes at you. <laughs> um. The only ones who run lucky on this one game. So yeah, you gotta find the door and get out, because there's nothing else to do in here. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't even know who made this game. Hey, there you go. Getting, getting there. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's... I, I never meant to go in the building, it's like, it just throws you in the building sometimes. That's, that's the true horror story, you go in and, and it just keeps... You can't get out. <laughs> oh yeah, just the... You go in like this, it just keeps walking. You again. can't get to the door. Um, but yeah, this game is not very good. I don't recommend it. Oh, uh, one of my friends is in trouble, it looks like. The lights are flashing. Oh, uh, there Okay. Make sure he's about to buy some nuts. Yeah, I guess you could find Jason by like, killing your friends, and you could like stop him. So look, it says change, pass, cure, and take. So I guess you have this potion here. If you saw someone that was like cut open by Jason, you could, you could give them the potion and it would heal them. Right. I don't know. Stunning eight bit. Stunning eight bit. That's good. Good game. Oh, that's kind of the Ness era is interesting because a lot of the games it's like they would they would start with a title and just make a game. You know what I mean? Like it's just kind of like totally rad. Yeah, you know, there's a game called Totally Rad, and it's about just like a surfer dude whose girlfriend gets kidnapped. You know? What I mean? Like in the Ness era, like now they have to put a ton of development. Oh, I just realized something. A ton of development and dump money into the games. But like in the old in the in the NES era, it's just like they would start with a title and like, they would go. With it. Like someone was made like told to make a Friday the Thirteenth game, and then they just did the you know what I mean? Yeah. I just realized something. What? When this starts flashing, when it starts flashing next to the pictures of the faces, yeah, that are your lives. Key. Oh, now you don't have to lock the door. Now you don't have it yet. Oh no! Come on. <laughs> you did it. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if the counting down- Oh, the counting down means another friend's about to get attacked, probably. No, I think this one's for me. Is it? It's by my name, because earlier it was by my friends, yeah. by the lives, and then after it ran out, one of the faces disappeared. Yeah. Well, this is the days of games where you had to read the manual to know what was going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's like you play a game and it's like, okay. They explained it to you. But yeah, no, you just had to, like, if you didn't read the manual, you had no idea what was going on. Still on oh, I don't know what's going on. It's it's probably the thing. You got machetes now? Yeah. Chrissy. No, these are games, I, I forget which movie, but these names are from one of the movies. Um, like Chrissy and Mark and Paul and stuff, I've heard these names. So these are, I think it might just be the first movie. But these are, like, actual, like, names from one of the movies. One of the Friday the 13th movies. I really like there's that. Paul! Oh, there's Paul. <laughs> Paul. Right? You don't need to cure him, he's good. He's a little bit. We'll press select to like choose something. But I can't, I don't think you can, are you gonna change Paul like he, he pooped his pants? pants. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if I can cure Paul. He pooped his pants. Let's see if I can cure Paul. But he doesn't need curing, see, cause he's got... Oh, I see he's got Paul. Let's see if we can uh, take... Take Paul. Take Paul. Take Paul with you. It is safe, the buddy uh, system. Can I, can I machete Paul? Yes, uh, maybe. You have a machete. Alright. Oh, you can change characters! That's really cool, actually. So that, and then, um, uh, I guess, uh, because he has the potion and Paul doesn't, I was gonna say, you could probably go and, uh, heal Chrissy and come back to her. Oh, that's true. That's cool. That's actually kind of a mechanic you didn't see in the era, so. Even though this game is pretty terrible, they were doing stuff that was new, sort of. Oh, we got a curl. Alright, we got a curl. Monsters. <laughs> I'm gonna just stay here and hit him. Now, in any of the Friday the 13th movies, does Jason ever have any helpers? Helpers? No. He has adversaries, like Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy vs. Jason, yeah. I mean, his adversaries are the kids trying not to get killed, I guess. Right, but they're more like victims than adversaries. Yeah. It's not like they're only. But I, well, I, yeah, but they try to stop him. And then, in every movie, one of them does stop him. You know what I mean? There's Laura. Is so, uh, Laura? Okay, so let's just ask. You're better at this than I am. I, uh. 
I didn't do too well. <laughs> well, I found people, that doesn't mean they're gonna... There's not much of a motivation to do that. I know. It's just like... I'm glad because I haven't found a fireplace yet. I don't use my lighter. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, it says to use a torch, though, so I don't know if you can use a lighter. Oh, uh, so okay. I probably have to find a torch first. I haven't seen Jason at all yet. Oh yeah, that's true. He's so, like Jason. Yeah, oh, so I'm in trouble. Uh oh. So, let's see. Anybody in here? Yeah, maybe you saw Jason like, in here. Like, you're attacking one of them. Uh, let's uh, check out the news. What? Okay. It's a different house. I know, but... <laughs> There's a lot of different houses. I was pushing right and I kept going in. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotcha. Okay, let's see if we can find this here. Oh, uh, we got a... Uh, there's Paul. Okay, Paul's, Paul's, Paul's not Jason. Well, they're not in trouble anymore, I guess, because it's not... Or one couple of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it's weird, like, it doesn't make sense, any of it. You should go uh, somewhere else. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I gotta see. Gotta see what? Gotta see if my peeps are okay. Well, you saw Paul. Paul was fine. Paul, Paul was doing alright. Paul <laughs> was doing alright. Like. <laughs> was the only one that found him. Oh, yeah. Right. It's that guy with a little class track meet. <laughs> Camp Crystal Olympics. Camp Crystal Olympics, I like it. Camp Crystal Lake. Not a good place to go for vacation. You see the rats? I don't like the rats. It is like the Princess Bride. It is. They're almost like a hundred rats. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, it's counting three, two, one, and someone's dead. Okay, so that makes sense to me now. Um, because that's kind of what the movies are like, you know, one person is trying to figure out what's going on, and they're all, like, people are getting killed left and right, and one person is trying to figure out, like, what's happening to everybody, you know what I mean? Right. And then, like, one person, they don't, they don't kill Jason, but they stop him until the next movie. They stop him until, uh, until next time. Until Paramount or... I think Paramount makes the movies until Paramount. Oh, oh, oh there's Jason. Yeah, stop him. Oh no, you saw him. He's on his. his this game's on as gory as the movies. That's one thing we can say. Paul doesn't have full health if you don't want to pick Paul. It's true. Mark does though. Mark has full health. I don't know what that other girl is. Is it Chrissy? Did Chrissy die? Um, yeah, I think Chrissy bit the dust last time. It might be Laura. Laura may have died. I'm not sure. Someone's dead. Someone's dead. Well. Oh, there's the cave. The cave's hard because the uh. Oh, the bats? I think, is it the bats or, I think there's rats. The rats are hard in the cave. Yeah, we got blue rats in here. Let's get bats. Yeah, you look like the character from King's Quest in this. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Another game. Oh, we got more. Oh, Peasant's Quest. You know, Peasant's Quest, King's Quest. Oh, oh there's a timer by my name now. So does that mean he's chasing you? I, I don't know what that means. I think that might be what it means. He's, he's near. Because we haven't died when the timer 45 seconds out. until Jason comes. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't died when the timer comes. Yeah, and, until Jason comes, I guess. I'm gonna die if I keep running into people, though. You shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. So, very poor gameplay on my part. Yeah, well, this game doesn't have great gameplay. <laughs> anyway, so... Did you know anyone's really pumping in Mark's system? He's just gunning it. He's trying, you know, he's trying to... Oh, there are other places to get out of He's safe. Yeah, see, because then, like, you got out of there and it added more time, so you're running away from Jason, I think. You know what I mean? Oh, it looks like he's almost on me. But yeah, that but you had 9 seconds and he came out of the cave and it said, uh, 20. Oh, I see. So I'm saying it adds more time because you're actually running away from him. I think he should, uh, make it Let's see, let's see if we're right. Here we go. Where is he? <laughs> I don't know, he didn't show up? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> we had, we had five. This game's hard. I mean, this game, like, there's so many, like, just stuff that doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? Like, what does the timer mean? I don't know. I thought it was Jason, but he didn't appear, so. It says five now, so maybe we have five more minutes. Oh, yeah, maybe. It's a while. I'm guessing it's still a timer. I would just, I would just try to find, like, how to get out of Camp Crystal Lake. I like that. I like that idea. I'm back in the cave. There's Mark, alright. 
I guess, um, they have to take some creative license. Um, like, these things, like, there has to be stuff to fight other than Jason, I guess. That's true. You know what I mean? I guess, do you think you could be able to do it as, as a puzzle game? See, those things, I, I don't know what those are. I, I think, especially in the NES era, you get to be Jason. How cool would that be? You're just running around a camp, you find a kid every now and then, just stab him. 8-Bit Jason. Yeah, like 8-Bit Jason would be really, really fun. I, I kind of want to, like, kickstart that. <laughs> that would be, be really fun. An 8-Bit reboot. Of it's like, we need, we need 12 million dollars to get the rights to it. <laughs> And then we also need 20 million dollars to hire someone that knows how to make games. <laughs> I don't know how to make games. Okay, we're, uh, we're gonna make a different ending of Friday the 13th. Uh, Mark falls down the thing in the cave. Did that kill you? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a 10 second delay. No, no, Chrissy is alive. Okay, okay Chrissy's alive. Oh, yeah, she's hurt. Who, who's the other? Paul, 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 you know. So let's keep Paul. Yes, yeah. Paul, Paul, uh. I'm gonna stop it. I like Paul. He's a good well, you know, I'm, oh, I've been thinking of more, like, she had, uh, machetes from last time. She has what she had last time. Right, I know. I just forgot about it. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about, like, more of the really cool kills. That in the 14th part 3 had some cool, uh, cool kills, because it was 3D. Oh, yeah. Um, like, there's that part where, I forget his name, but, like, Jason's behind there, and he has the kid's head, and he pushes the kid's head, and if you're watching it in 3D, the eyeball pops out of the screen. Oh, wow. Because he, he squeezes his head. It's pretty cool. It's yes, yes. cutting edge in its day. Watch out for his axe! Oh, no, Chrissy! Yes. Yes. Wait, you're welcome! Stop it, no! Ah. Oh wait! What? How long are you not dead? I don't know. Ah, uh, there we go. Come on, Chrissy! Alright, Pa. You're our last hope. Your, your camp crystal lakes last hope. We still don't know what the timer means. We still don't know what the timer means. I, I still hold the right theory that it's how close Jason is to you. Well, but he was attacking me right there, and there's no timer. Alive. That's true. And now the timer's going off again. Yeah, I don't know what that means at all. The better question is, what are you throwing at you? Is it like, um, I was thinking, uh, baggies for cocaine? Uh, you could say a racial perfect? No. Paul's, Paul's white, I think, he's just tan. You know, he's a, he's a camp counselor. He's been, I think in the movie, Paul's a white guy. These things are, like, take yeah, over, like, kill. They do. They're really not. They're the worst. Alright, Paul, you can do it. Okay, go for it, Paige. Most obnoxious... Villains, or let's say, uh, most obnoxious characters in the NES era. Oh, in the NES era? Like, villains that you have to fight. Um, I'm gonna say, uh. Oh, villains you have to fight? Not like bosses? Uh, not bosses, like. Hmm. Uh, there we Cause go. for bosses, I was gonna say Wart. From, uh. Wart is so obnoxious. Yeah, Wart. Um, I think that wraps it up for this Let's Play. Um, Happy Friday the 13th. I'm glad. You could see that's from like Jason Returns, so that's like Friday the Thirteenth Part Six or whatever. Wow. <laughs> but um, I think that wraps it up. Um, Friday the Thirteenth for the NES is not a very good game, but we had a good time playing it. Had a good time making this video. This is Game and Watch. Um, be sure to keep the conversation going on Twitter. I'm at Uncle Page. Duh, I am at Proof Rock Poetry. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, play some games. All right. Hope you uh, play some games.